In this video, we're going to discuss the three colligative properties, freezing point depression, boiling point elevation, and vapor pressure lowering. To begin, there's some terminology we need to discuss. First, what is a pure substance? A pure substance is a substance composed of one type of material, such as one type of compound or one type of element. In the examples we'll be going over in this video, we're going to talk about water. Now we need to discuss what a solution is. A solution is when you have a solute and a solvent together. Now let's jump into our colligative properties. First, there's freezing point depression. And in the beaker, I have water. And the freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. Well, let's say I add a solute to my water. Well, that means the freezing point will be lower, meaning for this to freeze, it will have to be minus two degrees Celsius. Now let's say I add more solute particles. That means the freezing point will be lower, meaning for this to go ahead and freeze, it would have to be minus four degrees Celsius. So the more solute particles in a solution, the lower the freezing point when we talk about freezing point depression. Now let's discuss boiling point elevation. For water to boil, it will need to be at 100 degrees Celsius. Well, let's add solute particles to our water. For this to boil, it will need to now be at 102 degrees Celsius. Let's add more solute particles. For this to boil, it will need to be at 104 degrees Celsius. So the more solute particles in a solution means the higher the boiling point. Now let's talk about vapor pressure lowering. So vapor pressure, this is a force exerted by a gas that lies above the solution in a sealed system. So when we talk about a sealed system, it means my beaker has a lid on it. So those particles are not getting out of the beaker. Well, when we talk about vapor pressure lowering, we have to talk about what's happening in the sealed system. And what's occurring is condensation and evaporation, meaning the liquid is turning into a gas and the gas is turning into a liquid. So it's a system occurring. And while this happens, it's gonna reach equilibrium. So water will turn into a gas, then into a liquid, then into a gas, then into a liquid. Now let's go ahead and say we add our solute to our water. When this happens, you get a lower vapor pressure. So the more solute particles in solution means a lower vapor pressure. 